Hoop fam, what's going on? Hope everyone is healthy. Hope everyone is safe. A couple of days ago, the Basketball Hall of Fame announced their 2020 class of inductees. This is a super impressive group, so much so that some people are saying that this is the greatest group of Hall of Fame inductees in the history of the Basketball Hall of Fame. This group has all the individual talents and all the individual accomplishments from a player's perspective, all the individual talent and all the individual accomplishments from a coaching perspective. And what's also impressive about this group is these players and coaches have been able to take their individual success and their individual drive and focus and transfer that to their team. And they are the driving forces behind their teams reaching that ultimate level of success. And when you're a player or a coach, this is the nirvana level or the highest level of praise and success that a player or a coach can ultimately hope to reach. Um, so one thing I want to do is take four players that were inducted in the, in the 2020 class of the Hall of Fame and highlight some of their skills and attributes that make them special. Some of the things that resonate with me that I want to share with you. And when you look at the four players, and we're going to talk about one player each day, and when you look at some of the things that unite these four players, one of the things that sticks out to me is all four of these players play with what I like to talk call the right basketball character, meaning they approach preparation, they approach competition with the right level of energy and the right level of dedication. And they've been able to take that energy and dedication that they exude and exhibit from an individual perspective. And they've been able to place that imprint on their teams, pushing their teams to that highest level of success, which is a championship and the highest level of competition. Uh, the first player I want to highlight is one of my favorites, Tamika Catchings. And the thing that sticks out to me with Catch is she functions seamlessly and simultaneously as a superstar and an energy player. And we all love basketball. We all know basketball. So we know how difficult it is to have all of that in one player. It's so difficult that teams will actually silo those responsibilities sometimes. And they will rely on one player as that primary score. And they'll rely on another player as that igniter, as that person that lights the pilot, that gives the team energy. So to place both of those responsibilities on one player is incredibly difficult. That is a tough ask. And Tamika Catchings did that with ease. So that's the thing that really sticks out with, to me when you start looking at her as a player. Um, so again, we should respect and, and, and recognize the fact that she was able to be a superstar and an energy energizer bunny all in one player. That's super, super impressive. If you needed a bucket, Tamika could get it. If you needed someone to initiate the offense, Catch could do that. If you needed someone to win a 50-50 ball, Catch could do that as well. She led the league in steals multiple times throughout her career. And she is the all-time leader in WNBA history in steals. And so let's unpack that a little bit when we start looking at her from a defensive perspective. Um, oftentimes when you see players collect the amount of steals that Tamika Catching has throughout her career, these players often take unnecessary gambles when they're trying to get those steals. And it works great when the player gets the steal, but when they don't, they place their, de their, their defense in emergency situations and their teammates are, are scrambling to recover because that individual player gambled for that steal. Well, Catch is a 10-time all-defensive player in the WNBA. She rarely placed her team in precarious positions from a defensive standpoint by gambling. She not only got her steals, she not only was a great on-ball individual defender, she understood team concepts and positional defense, which is a shout out and a nod to her basketball IQ as well. Um, again, super impressive for a player to be able to do that. And also I gotta mention too, 
is not just defensive that we're talking about here too. Catch is a bucket. She's third all time in WNBA scoring. So an incredible player that got it done on both ends. She anchored the offense and the defense for her teams. So her energy and her and her offensive skill set allow her to have a super high level of versatility. Um, she was able to function as a feature player. But the, uh, the other thing that I like as well is she actually could function and thrive next to another feature player. Um, and I saw this even when she played back at Tennessee, when she played on some of the greatest teams in the history of college basketball. So Hoop Fam, I got to ask you a favor. I'm always asking for stuff, right? If you don't know the three Meeks, look them up. And Tamika was an integral part of their success. And she is just an amazing player that plays both ends of the floor and that has that versatility where she can play with as a feature player or she can play with another feature player and still have a high level of success. So Tamika Catchings, congratulations on your 2020 Hall of Fame induction. Love your game. Respect due.